no commitments we decided to hit the road for a classic road trip no solid plans apart from a desire to check out my uncle's holiday house on the victorian coastline left us free to plan the trip day by day 20 hours plus of driving is rough on adults let alone little kids emmy and noah handled the drive like well-practiced little legends that they are still it was a relief to finally reach the victorian coastline and straight into a cracking afternoon at the beach Little did we know that this would be the best of the Victorian weather that we'd get to experience on this trip. Day two in Victoria and we wake up to windy and rainy conditions. Not once to let this lock us indoors, we decided to use this as an opportunity to sample the raw side of the Victorian coastline. We decided to head for a drive and check out Cape Lip Trap, which is relatively close to where we're staying and look like a worthwhile spot. There's no doubt that this place would look absolutely stunning on a nice day, but I think we got pretty lucky to experience it on such a raw and wild day. The bottom of the headland was calling and I didn't need much encouragement from Noel to make the trek down for a prime photo opportunity. With a big rain front approaching, we decide to head back to the house for an afternoon of movies. One of the few promises we made to the kids with this trip was a visit to see the Phillip Island penguins. Although the weather was again looking pretty average, we decided to head off to the island to check it out. We head towards the south coast of the island and go for a walk to check out around Redcliffe Head. This turns out to be a great decision and gives us an opportunity to experience some landscapes that we really don't get to see back in Queensland. Next on the list was Pyramid Rock. I'd seen a few photos online of this place and I knew it would be a great spot for some photos. After walking the track to make sure it was safe, I headed back for Emmy. After missing out the day before, I'd promised her that she could go on the next adventure. Yeah. <laughs> 
sunset rapidly approaching, we headed off to the Penguin Parade. A cold and rainy night meant that patience was required to see the penguins. After a slight delay, they started to make an appearance, much to the kids' delight. It was time to leave the Victorian coastline and head towards Canberra, but we couldn't resist taking the scenic route through the Victorian high country. Tell me about the penguins that you saw last night. The real penguins. Um. What did you think? Ooh. What were they doing? They were waddling home. They were waddling home? Yeah. Yeah, do you love it? Yeah. How many you reckon you saw? How, how many penguins you reckon you saw? Um, I don't know. They were waddling. Not wobbling. I like to say wobbling cones. <laughs> what are you thinking for the Victoria High Country? It's pretty windy so far. It's beautiful. Wow, if this is just the start of Victorian high country, I'm bloody pumped to check rest of it out. Um, so we just pulled over at a little campsite and a rest area, um, have some lunch, and then we're gonna head into Dargo and then kind of go from there. Just a little quick trip through here. So just probably one night camping and then on our way through to Canberra. But um, never been this way before, so we're really pumped to check it out. And it's absolutely beautiful so far. I've always wanted to check out the high country and was secretly hoping for some luck with the snow as it was coming into winter. With only a few days until some major seasonal road closures, luck was on our side. We headed from Dargo up Dargo High Plains Road. As we started to get higher up into the range, we started to see some signs of snow and got pretty bloody excited. Little did we know that this was just the beginning. How's this snow? Um, I was starting to lose hope and didn't think we were going to get to see any again, but this road looks like it's starting to provide the goods. Pretty excited for what's ahead.
Nothing. This is wild. I have never seen anything like this. <laughs> this is bloody insane for people from Queensland. <laughs> Wait. Get out of it, you. <laughs> so, originally we had planned to camp at a spot up here, got to the spot and it's actually all gated off for some reason. I didn't think it would happen until next week. So, we found this other spot and now we're sketching a little bit with just how cold it is. It's currently like minus four. Um, so, I think we're actually gonna go stay in a motel for the night just cause, I don't know, we don't wanna risk it with the kids and we're just not experiencing this kind of stuff. So, I think the plan will be, have a little bit of fun in the snow and then, yeah, head back. That's a wrap on an absolutely epic road trip to Victoria. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving the video a like and subscribe as it really helps get it out there to others. Thanks so much legends and I'll see you in the next one.